Hey guys, in reference to the books that were in the back of the vehicle, um, like I said, one was leather, about the size of 9 by 10, you know, a, a bible size book, or maybe 8.5 by 9 or something, I don't know, but a bible, bible size, standard bible. The number of pages was like a bible. And like when I opened it, on the right hand side was what I would call as a 12 year old girl hieroglyphics circles and lines and figures and things. And then on the right, I think was English, but because he was perturbed, I set it down. And if you remember in the forties and fifties, most of the books were cloth, like a canvas cover, a rough canvas cover, the etiquette of home shopping or, or, or daily etiquette, you know, whatever my uh, uh, constitutional law, you know, business law, my father, I've got some of them. They're really old. Um, anyway, the, um, sixties, you began to see glossy covered books. I call them glossy. I don't know what else you can call them. Enamel type, uh, coffee table books, textbooks became, you know, you know, math one, two, three, and you'd see purple and yellow and green and squares and stuff. Anyway, I drew this figure. And like I said, there was a lot of yellow and there was a purple gray figure in the center, and I just drew something like that. Now, in my mind, it seemed like the back of the book was maps, and Mongolia comes in my mind. There was additional yellow coloring and red, like red lines around the countries. It was on the back of that book. I don't know if I may have run into him on other occasions if he was seeing the hoes. Okay. This was an encounter with Ted Bundy in self-hypnosis because I don't have Lieutenant Mickler or anybody to hypnotize me. Okay, thank you.